Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the positive root of the given equation 2x cube minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0. And they have also given it lies between 1 and 2 by using Newton Raphson's method. Now, we take this f of x which is equal to 2x cube minus 3x minus 6. Now, let's find its derivative f dash of x which is 6x square minus 3. Now, according to the Newton Raphson's formula, xn plus 1 is xn minus f of xn by f dash of xn. And they have given the root lies between 1 and 2. So, let's start from x not so we have to find the root is closer to which value so let's take f of 1 f of 1 is 2 into 1 cube minus 3 into 1 minus 6 which is totally minus 7 and f of 2 let's calculate which is 2 into 2 cube is 8 so we take directly 8 and this is 3 into 2 then minus 6 and this value 16 minus 6 minus 6 which is 4 now the modulus value of f of 1 is greater than modulus value of f of 2 so we can say the root is closer to 2. So, when the root is closer to 2, let's take the value of x0 as 1.7. So, I choose x0 as 1.7. Now, x1 by Newton Raphson's formula, x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x naught. So this is 1.7 minus 2 into x cube. 1.7 whole cube minus 3 into 1.7 minus 6 whole division 6 x square. So 6 into 1.7 whole square minus 3. Now coming to the calculation part, we take the calculator in this. Let's calculate this terms which is in the numerator. So bracket open 2 into 1.7 cube minus 3 into 1.7 then minus 6 bracket close divided by again bracket open 6 into 1.7 square minus 3 bracket close we got this value and already there is a minus sign so into minus 1 if I take this total value is calculated and with that plus 1.7 this is 1.7888 we round off 1.789 so this is 1.78 we can also take up to four decimal places so 1.788 then i take 9 sorry 1.7888 only because the last digit is beyond that it is 4 so we should keep the last digit as it is. So we got this as x1. Now coming to x2 which is x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. Now 1.7888 I have to substitute for x1. 1.7888 minus 2 into 1.7888 whole cube 
minus 3 into 1.7888 minus 6. Whole division 6 into 1.7888 whole square minus 3. Now we take calculator. Coming to the numerator part, open bracket 2 into 1.7888 is Q minus 3 into 1.7888 then minus 6 bracket close divided by bracket open 6 into 1.7888 is square then minus 3 in bracket close after division we get this this into minus 1 because there is a minus sign for the second term and we have to add this with 1.7888 so we are getting 1.78378 we have to round up to 4 decimal places 1.7838 so we take this as 1.7838 after rounding up to 4 decimal places now this is our x2 in the same way let's calculate x3 so coming to x3 we have to use a formula x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2 now 1.7838 minus 2 into 1.7838 whole cube minus 3 into 1.7838 minus 6 whole divided by 6 into 1.7838 whole square minus 3 coming to this calculation part we take calculator now open bracket 2 into 1.78 3 8 whole cube minus 3 into 1.7838 minus 6 bracket close divided by bracket open 6 into 1.7838 it's square then minus 3 bracket close and this value into minus 1 then we have to add plus 1.7838 after this we get this value we have to round up to 4 decimal places 1.7838 again so this is 1.7838 so we got x3 also same as x2 1.7838 so we can say x2 equal to x3 equal to 1.7838 so the better approximate route is 1.7838